so you're decluttering or you're thinking about getting started. Either way, this video is going to help you figure out exactly what to declutter from your home first. Thanks for joining me today. This video is brought to you by BetterHelp, but I'll share more on them in just a little bit. I've been on my decluttering journey for the past two to three years, but I really got serious about it within the last year. However, if I was starting from scratch, these are the things that I would do first. If you're new here, hi, my name is Abby and this is my channel, Chic Peach. Don't mind me if you notice my voice is a little off. I have a bit of a cold. So let's get to it. First and foremost, the easiest thing to get out of your house is trash. Trash is obviously something that we don't want to keep around, so it is the easiest thing to declutter. You don't have to worry about donating this anywhere. You don't have to worry about saving it for later. You can quite literally get the trash out of your house, take it out to the street, and then be done with it and something to always consider while you're decluttering. The faster you can get this stuff out of your house, the easier it's going to be to make progress. Now I'm a very visual person, so as I am decluttering a room or a space, I need to get stuff out as soon as possible because when the old clutter is gone, all of the remaining clutter is left and it's easier for me to figure out what I still have to worry about, what I still have to figure out what to do with. The next stuff that you want to worry about, useless things in plain sight. I know that a lot of decorations are pretty useless, but I'm not exactly talking about those. I'm talking about things that have been sitting around on our surfaces because a, we don't know what to do with them, B, we don't know where to put them, or C, we've been meaning to get rid of them anyway. Take all of that, get rid of it. And just a quick side note, you don't have to do all of this in one day. Decluttering is not really a one-time thing. Keep in mind that it's okay if you don't get all of this done in one go. It's all right to take baby steps, get done what you can, and add things to the list as they become relevant, or you have the motivation and energy to do so. Something else on the list that maybe you haven't thought of, it's really helpful to declutter your mind, not just your house, your environment, but your mental clutter as well. The best way to do this, in my opinion, is to talk it out. Let your feelings out. You can talk it out or have a creative outlet. You can write it down in a journal, but if you're like me, talking is very helpful for expressing your feelings and letting things out, letting them go. This is what leads us into our sponsor for the video, BetterHelp. Whether or not you suffer from any clinical mental health issues like anxiety or depression, if you're just a human being living in this world, then you deserve to be able to talk to someone and talk it out. One major reason why I appreciate having better help in my life is because every once in a while, I need to talk to someone. Therapy has made a huge difference in my mental health and my overall well-being. My channel may be about decluttering and organizing and simplifying your life, but the main theme of my channel is doing what's right for you and living your best life possible. And with this, I believe in therapy so much that I would recommend it to anyone. BetterHelp's mission is to make therapy more affordable and accessible. And I'm here to tell you that they are doing an amazing job at succeeding in this mission. BetterHelp is an online platform that makes finding a therapist easier because they're online. You don't have to go anywhere and you don't have to see anyone in person if you don't want to. So instead of waiting months to see someone, try BetterHelp and talk to someone within a matter of days. When we need to talk to someone, we need help now or this week, not a few months from now. If you wanna try BetterHelp for yourself, it is so easy to get started and get matched with a therapist that is right for you. Check them out at the link on your screen or in the description of this video. Visit betterhelp.com slash Abby Flater to get started. Your mental health and well-being will thank you. The next category would be items in the back of a cabinet, the back of a drawer, or the back of your closet. Things that stay in the back because we never reach for them. Either we don't need them or they don't work or we don't like them. They got pushed to the back for a reason and now we never reach for them. So those items are things we can easily downsize. Now when you're looking through these cabinets or drawers or closets, keep in mind that you might want to check the expiration dates. Anything that is expired, food, medicine, sanitary products like 
tampons, pads. Those honestly have expiration dates too, so check them out. Anything that we might want to put in our bodies, we don't want it to be expired. Our health is very important mentally and physically. Get that expired stuff out of your house. That is an easy thing to declutter. Let's say you have some expired cold medicine that you want to throw out because it's expired and then you get a cold next week like I have one right now. Do yourself a favor and get better cold medicine that's not expired. You can buy it when you need it. Yes, it's nice to have it on hand for when you need it, but you don't want to put expired medicine in your body. You don't know what it's going to do. I don't know what it's going to do. I'd rather play the safe side and have medicine that is non-expired. Another item on the list would be things that you don't use anymore because you've forgotten about them or you don't use them anymore because they never worked that well in the first place. Some examples of this could be cleaning products. Check your cabinets under the sink or your utility closet and see what cleaning products you haven't used much of because it didn't do the job well in the first place. I have several of these and I ended up throwing them out when I did a transformation of my cabinet under the kitchen sink. There are my go-to cleaning products that I use every single time and there are some that I had in that cabinet that I don't even remember having in the first place. So if that tells you anything, that means that they probably weren't very good and I don't have them anymore and that's because they didn't work very well. Something else that you can look through, if you're a parent or guardian or caregiver of any kind, I know for myself, I have a bunch of things in storage from when my son was born. He's almost two right now, and we have tons of things. It's crazy how much a toddler or just a little baby can need and acquire in such a short amount of time. So anyway, look through all of your child's old stuff and figure out what did they never use? If they never used it to begin with, get rid of it. I totally understand saving our child's old stuff for the next one. If we're not sure if we're having kids in the future or we know for sure that we're having more kids, kids cost so much money and all of their stuff can be so expensive. When you have a child and you're planning to have another one, why get rid of it when there will be another baby down the road that you can use all of this stuff again later. I get it. That's stuff that you should save for later. So that's what I'm doing. But when I go through all of my son's old things and I see something that we never used to begin with because it was either very impractical and made no sense for us to use it or it just didn't work for us. Those are things I probably won't go back to next time. So there are things that I can easily declutter out of my space and free up more room in our storage areas. Next on the list would be things that don't evolve with you. Now, I think my best example for this would be technology. If you've got old technology like our old iPods that don't keep up with the new iOS updates, after a certain point, they just don't update and then they don't work and then the battery dies so quickly. And not to mention the chargers, like if you've had an old iPod, those chargers used to be so wide, literally nothing works with those chargers anymore. I think we have a couple somewhere around our house. I just haven't found them yet. But when I do, you can bet I will put them in my next decluttering box. So the point is to keep an eye out for things that don't work for the world we live in now. If it's not compatible with the rest of your technology, if you don't use the old iPod, get rid of it. Nowadays, our phones are basically our new iPods, so you can let go of the old electronics. There are plenty of ways to recycle old technology where they can be used for new technology. So that's a win-win. You're getting old technology out of your house and decluttering while recycling them for new technology and conserving our resources. Another thing on my list would be excessive amounts of things that you just don't need much of. When I was going through this list with my husband, when I was preparing for this video, I asked him, okay, what are some things that you would put on this list? And he was like, candles. <laughs> I'm like, okay, I get it. You hate all of my candles. I do have a fair amount of candles, but I actually use them. We burn through them, so I don't mind having an excessive amount of candles. I don't go out and buy a ton when I know that I already have a bunch at home, but as I'm getting low, I might stock up on a few. If you've got a lot of spatulas or kitchen utensils that you don't need much of, you have a few favorites and then the rest of them are just always in the drawer or always in that little utensil holder that 
many of us have. Get rid of the extras. There's no point in them taking up extra space in your kitchen. Not only can decluttering make it easier in your house overall, but especially in such a high traffic area like your kitchen, you want that space to be as seamless as possible. If you've got a lot of stuff cluttering your utensil drawer, sometimes it's hard to open and close that drawer if it's overflowing. So take out the stuff that you really don't need that you never use, and that'll make your time much more efficient in the kitchen when you're not having to worry about trying to get that drawer open and closed and having to maneuver all of the utensils inside. Now, along with excessive things that we just don't need anymore, <laughs> let's talk about those original boxes. Yes, original boxes. We don't need them. I think I started saving original boxes for when I would move. In my college years, I moved around quite a bit, so there were a few things that I did end up packing back into the original box, and it was helpful, but there were so many things that I saved the original boxes for, and we moved without actually packing them in the original boxes, and then there was more to move. I could have just gotten rid of all the original boxes, sent them to recycling, and there would have been less for me to worry about in every single time that I moved. Do yourself a favor, get rid of those original boxes. And another thing is old phones. I know that I've saved the original boxes for the last five or so phones that I've had. And I have my phones for about one to two years each. So that's at least five to 10 years of boxes for these phones that I've saved. Why? Because we think we're gonna pack our old phones back in the boxes when we send them in for a trade-in? No, <laughs> most of the time when I've had a local carrier and I've gone in to trade in my phone. I just brought my phone and I gave it to them and they don't need the original boxes. They've got what they need. They don't need them. And now I have all these boxes for my phones and I don't actually have the phones anymore. Get rid of those. I got rid of mine. You can get rid of yours too. I haven't needed them. So if you found this video helpful, give this video a thumbs up and make sure to check out my most recent video, which is the part one transformation of my basement. It was filled with so much clutter, but I got a lot of stuff cleared out. I'm still working on it and part two is currently in the works. So make sure to head on over there and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.